Hi, it's Martha from Hunch Manifest with a video tutorial about how to mark up your about page. Uh, you can see here this is our page and uh, the page talks quite a bit about um, the founders or, or Martha Van Burkle and Mark Van Burkle. Um, and so I'm actually going to add the person markup uh, to the page. So I'm going to start in Schema App. And if I go to Schema App and I click on Home, and the first thing I'm going to do, we, we've created these shortcut buttons, click on Person, since I'm marking up a person. Um, it's going to ask me to give a name. So this is any name. So it's I'm, I'm marking up Martha Van Burkle. Um, so I'm going to put, put my name here. And the URI is really the web page or URL that, that references it. So here is the About page. Um, so I go in there and I, I add in that URL. I click OK. Now what I want to do is, so it's brought in all of the different uh, properties for the data item person from schema.org. And, and so now what you want to do is, is fill this in to the best of your ability. Um, so we'll go through this uh, for the items that I have. So my given name is Martha. Um, my family name is Van Burkle. Um, the image, I'm actually going to pull an image. What I've done is I've gone to a, a blog on our site and, and just pulled an image off of that. Uh, since you can, uh, easiest way is just to reference like an image that exists already. Um, my email address, so martha at hunchmanifest.com. Uh, my telephone number, which is plus one since we're in Canada. Uh, and I type in the telephone number. Uh, gender is female. Nationality. So here you have select country. So I'm going to actually go to um, select using faceted search. Um, and see if anything's been in here. So you can see Canadian um, is already in here, so I'm just going to select that. Um, if you haven't, let's say you haven't um, entered anything previously, you can also create an instance. Um, so here, why don't we put in, um, let's say, um, I'll say Dutch since my... Um, and then what you can do in the URI is you can actually go to Wikipedia. Here I have Canada, if I put in Dutch, um, and here, you know, someone from, you know, Dutch people, the people of the Netherlands. So that's probably a, a good uh, description. So I'm going to actually take the Wikipedia, oops, the Wikipedia entry, and I'm going to put it in Schema App as my reference to Dutch and click OK. Um, and then you can see here it, it's gone ahead and selected that. Now, let's say you're like, oh, I'm not, like, I'm, my kids are Dutch, but I'm not Dutch, so I'm actually going to go back. Um, and I'm going to pick um, I'm going to pick Canadian. I can do that. The other thing you can do um, well, it doesn't allow you to put multiple. Some of them, if there's a plus, it actually allows you to put multiple. So here I'm now going to pick my birthday. So my birthday is on uh, August 1st. Um, and the easiest way here is to just change the year. So you guys can all see that I'm 37. I'm still alive, so I don't have death. Um, alumni of, so here you can also select an education. So let's see if they have anything in our database today. Um, so I don't see anything here that would be sort of an education. Uh, let's see, oh, Queen's University. So that's actually where I went to university. Um, I also went to another university, so I went to MIT. So let's go ahead and look in Wikipedia again um, for MIT. Um, it might also be good, instead of using Wikipedia, maybe I actually want to just use the MIT website. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get the website for MIT um, and go ahead and go back to Schema App um, and, uh, and, again, create an instance here uh, called MIT. And you can see here on the type drop-down, it says Education Organization or Organization. What it's prompting you here to do is select which is more accurate. Um, so in this case, an educational organization, since I'm describing a university, um, and I just click OK. This is one of the powers of using Schema App is that it um, kind of connects all this information automatically for you. Um, so job title, I can fill out. Uh, Co-founder, um, if there's organizations or member, you can, you can put those in there. Um, birthplace. So I can, I was born in, in West Vancouver, so this is one I'm going to go back uh, to Wikipedia and, and pull in sort of the Wikipedia um, entry for West Vancouver. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and again, we'll, we'll search and see if it's, if it's in there. Nope, it's not. Uh, so then I'll just create an instance. Uh, so birthplace, create instance. 
and we'll call this West Vancouver. Um, and that it is a type of place. If it was something else, you could you can pull from that pull down. So next we'll look through here. So birthplace, I got that. Death place, not dead yet. Um, fax number. Um, there is a description here. Oh, look, it, usually this helps, but it's uh, giving a bit of a funny error. Um, we've seen that sort of come up periodically. Um, but this is probably a description of, of me. <laughs> um, oh, I realize that there's sort of a same as maybe we can put in here. Let's have a look. Let's see. Makes an offer. Yeah, so see the same as here? So here you can see... The same as allows us to actually put in other references. And so we're going to put in some of my social media profiles. Um, so this is my LinkedIn social media profile. Um, I'll also pull my, my Twitter profile and put it in there. Um, and let's see, I don't really want to publish my weight into, into the semantic web. Uh, works for, so this is if you created the organization already for your company, um, it should already be in your graph, so you could again go select using faceted search. Um, we'll call hunch. Let me see if it comes up. So there's hunch manifest. Um, and again, it sort of automatically does that connection. Um, again, you can just kind of browse through and see if there's anything we missed. So education and background we filled out. Other properties. Let's see if there's anything else um, in here that I should go ahead and add. Net worth, owns, performer, related to, same as. Again, it has, um, again, if you want to add a third, you click on the plus sign. Um, I could put my, my Google Plus. Um, so I put Google Plus, not that thing, Oh, that looks like me there. All right. There I am there. So let's go ahead and add that one in. Uh, seeks type um, URL, not really relevant. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and click Save Changes. Um, so when you save it, it actually you know pulls out everything that you filled out um, about a person. Um, you can see if there's anything specific you want to call it, you could you could put it in there. Um, and now you have a couple options. So this is going to be pulled automatically into my WordPress site because I have the schema app plugin installed there. Um, if you wanted to just grab the JSON-LD, you'd click on the little dial and say get schema JSON-LD. Um, and then you could uh, take all of this and put it in your site. The other thing you can do is, um, is test this in the structured data tool. So if we go uh, to the structured data testing tool on Google, um, and we can, we'll test the page as well, but um, here you can actually just click on this and paste it in um, and validate it. Oh, look at it saying, I'm getting one error in here. So we'll have to find out why that is. Contact type missing and required. One or telephone must be provide, provided. Okay, so this, uh, let's go back to schema app and find out, let's add a contact type. So go ahead and, and just click on edit. Um, and if we scroll down, contact point. Um, the other thing you can do is if you're like, well, what is that? And how do I find out about it? Um, so corporate contacts, what's this? So corporate contacts, oh, see, so it's looking for a phone number. So let's go ahead and go back to the tool. And we're going to select contact points. So we're going to create an instance and say, so in here I'll put in Martha's mobile phone. And what we can do is, since I'm not going to have a, a page specific about my mobile phone number, um, I can just leave this as a reference here. Um, and I'll leave it as contact point. Now, once you create that, um, I'm going to save changes. Um, and you'll notice here now, under contact point, I can click on Martha's mobile phone. And it brings up a new page. So now I'm going to edit this. And it gives me all kinds of options. And so now here, there's a telephone number. So I'll put that in there. 1-226-979-1005. Um, you know, I have also my email I can add in there. Uh, let's see what else I might want to put. Description. Address. 
Okay, I'm going to do save changes. Okay, so here we are. So the organization of contact point requires a URL, and the contact point requires a contact type. Are you sure you want to make these edits? Okay, so it's telling me I still need to um, add in a contact type, um, and the organization of contact point requires a URL. All right. So let's go ahead and edit those since those were ones that weren't working. So contact type. A person or organization can have different contact points for different purposes. For example, a sales contact point, a PR contact point, and so on. This property is used to specify that kind of contact point. All right, so we'll say sales and marketing contact. And the other one it wanted was a, let's go save changes. So the organization of the contact point requires a URL. Okay, so let's go back in. And the URL, so let's see what else this is. Oh, it doesn't have a definition in there, so let's just put hunch manifest since that's my URL. Well, it might want me. Oh, it's just asking for language. Okay, so hunch manifest, let's say save. Oh, I'm still getting the same error. The organization of the contact point requires URL. Not the contact point, the organization. So it's the organization. Mm, there's no organization here, so let's go back to where I'm referring to from. Let's bring in the expert. Mark, come on over. I can't figure it out. So what we were seeing, if I go into the contact point, Mark, and I go to Martha's mobile phone, when I'm editing this, mm -hmm. It's asking me that, giving me that error on organization. What do you suggest? Um, that error is usually for like, like a home page. If you're marking up a home page for an organization, you you include contact points um, to kind of customize your knowledge graph. Okay. Um, so it's it's looking for a URL on that organization. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, it's message. looking at. That's what it was saying here. So your the inbound incoming reference here is to Marissa Van Burkle. Yeah. And do you have a URL on that one? I do. Yeah. This okay. is my if I check my URI, uh, it's set to the about page. Okay. And now I have works for hunch manifest. Uh, if you go up, I think it's no, you don't have a URL here. No, nope. there so was a URL prompting at the top. Is that what I needed to put in? Um, so there's a different layout for this one. If you go scroll to the bottom, it's probably in other properties. You are at the very bottom. Yeah. So that's what I would be looking for. And this is just for the compliance of that, um, of that Google feature as a, a, to customize the knowledge graph. And this is for the About page. So it would be my About one again. Yeah, with the full HTTP though. Got it. Okay. So I'll go back and just pull that directly off here. You always learn something new. All right, save. Okay, let's go ahead and, and test that in the structured data testing tool again and see how we're working. I told you I wasn't an expert in my introduction. All right, so let's change it again. We'll go ahead, let's just re. Load it up again. We'll go ahead and paste our. All right. Oh, it's still wanting me to, to specialize. Queens here is looking like I haven't said whether it's an educational organization or an organization. So let me go back here and I can go to Queens University. Oh, look, I haven't specified the type. So I'll go ahead and edit it. Um, and then in the type, I'll go ahead and look for education. So I want that to be an education organization. Excellent. And I'll save those changes. Oh, it says organization logo and knowledge graph requires logo. So that's again would apply those Google features. Okay. Um, but since you're not actually trying to mark up Queen's University for the home page. Then I'm probably okay. Then that's okay. All right. So let's go back to Martha Van Burkle. All right, where was I? Let's go back to the interview report. And we are looking for the about 
For Martha Punch Manifest, here we are. Here is the about page, Martha Van Burkle. All right, third time a charm. Let's go ahead and get the Jason LD. And we'll copy and paste this. Again, if this is in, uh, if you're using WordPress, um, I'll show you how we do that as well. So let's go ahead and and we'll just paste it here and validate it. Uh, all right. Still seeing that contact type be strange. Um, so as it turns out, if I actually just Corporate contacts here is looking for the corporate contacts under Hunch Manifest, which I'm not marking up right now. Um, this one is incorrect though, because you can see I actually forgot to put the HTTPS at the beginning. Um, so I can fix that. Um, and then there's a new thing up here, the results. If I look at the social profile links, which is one of the things I'm trying to do, it's all good. Um, but let's go ahead and, and fix that URL. Good thing I'm not coding this at once. So let's figure out. So I work for, you can see Hunch Manifest. So let's go in here and see if I've put that without. Uh, so it works for Hunch Manifest. So it looks like it's actually something I have to go through and click on here. All right. So let's see if in here it's not got the proper one. Let's have a look. Let's see, info, email, don't see anything else that shows the Hunch Manifest. Uh, so we'll look at that in a separate tutorial, um, but let's go ahead and, and have a look actually at the About page. So if I were to go here and edit the page, let's see if we're seeing the JSON LD in WordPress. So um, again, I'm on the page I just marked up. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Um, and here I'm going to have a look and you can see now it actually has Queen's University and everything in here. Um, if I click on test, it'll open it in the structured data testing tool. Um, and again, I can filter by use case, uh, social profiles, which is what I was looking at, uh, and we're good to go. So lots of troubleshooting um, as someone who, again, I'm no enough to be dangerous, but by no means an expert. Um, hopefully that gave you a good sense of how to use the tool to mark up a person or your about page um, on Schema Apps. Thanks and have a great day.